why don't we start with a prayer and then I'll jump into uh, this first session. Father, thank you for this night and just a chance to gather with other believers and talk about how we can use our gifts to reach others in the world. I pray, God, that you would use each of these sessions to let people know uh, just how wonderful you are and also to let them hear the music that you've gifted us with. Lord, I just pray that you would give uh, each person uh, the confidence that uh, their gift is useful and valuable and can really touch the world. We thank you, Lord, and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, tonight I'd like to just give you an overview of uh, really how to get your music online, put it out on places like Spotify and Pandora, YouTube and Amazon and uh, other online platforms. And it's really uh, much easier than you might think. Um, I've been using a company called CD Baby for several years, and uh, they're great for maybe 50 bucks, 60 bucks. I can put a whole album online of music and they distribute it to all those different places that I mentioned, plus about 200 others. And so it's just a one-time fee and it does a whole album of music and you just uh, put your music on. Uh, I started in 2009 putting it on CD Baby. I was using it on my own website before that. But when I really put it on CD Baby, that helped to uh, get my music to all these different platforms. And one of the beautiful things about that is um, not just that people are finding my music, but they, they find it because they're listening to a radio station uh, that plays other people's music like mine. And so uh, very few people know who I am and search for me. They don't know the names of my songs, so they're not searching for them. But they are searching for other names. They're looking for relaxing piano music. And so they'll find uh, me because I'm in that same mix, in that same genre. And that's the way they, they can learn about me and uh, check me out on uh, other platforms where they can buy the music or where they can keep streaming it. So it's a nice way to reach a lot of people and get exposure to people that you wouldn't have a way to reach uh, any other way. I also just really believe that your music can bless people in great ways. I was writing piano music. Uh, actually, I was just playing piano music, but then I started writing. I didn't really share it with anyone, though. I hardly played the piano for anyone. I didn't play in church. I didn't play in a band. I didn't play publicly. But I just played for myself, and I just really enjoyed it. I actually thought everybody played the piano. Uh, my brother and sister played the piano, my parents, my grandparents. So I just thought uh, it was just a normal thing, and I didn't think uh, much special about it for me. But as I started going out in the world more and getting older, I realized that it actually was a gift and a rare gift that God had given me to be able to uh, just play the piano and enjoy it. And at one point, he really challenged me to start playing for other people. And it happened because I was playing for a friend. He had come over to the house, and uh, he was a, a, someone that I hadn't known before, he was sort of a newer friend. And he said, that's beautiful music. I, I'd love to record some of those songs. And so he just brought some recording equipment over, and he recorded me playing. And I'd never had that before, and he put them on a, a tape, just a cassette tape, gave it to me, and I started listening to my own piano music. And I can't tell you what that experience was like, because it was so different than sitting at the piano and actually playing all the keys and thinking through the music and working through it. I was able to just sit back and relax, and it just touched me. I, I don't have any other way to say it except I felt then what my friend had felt and what a few others had told me uh, when I played, and I just thought, wow, if that touches me so much, then maybe it would touch other people. So I went ahead and recorded the songs uh, another time and took my time with it and really made a nice recording. I put it on my website. This was in 1999, so about 22 years ago. And uh, the music uh, just started taking off. People started listening to it. They would put it on. They'd listen to it uh, in the afternoons. They'd listen to it at night when they were going to sleep. Some people told me they'd put it on just before bed, and it was so calming and relaxing that they'd just keep it on all night, and they'd wake up still listening to it. Of course, I don't know how many people actually listen to my music. They were sleeping through it, but it had that soothing effect for people, and I was very thankful about that. And some people started asking if they could get it on CD, if they could uh, download it so they could listen anytime when they weren't connected to the internet. And so 
I started making some CDs too and selling those and offering them to people. But really it's the streaming music that's uh, been the most fruitful. And so from that very uh, small beginning uh, over the years, uh, once I put it on CD Baby, this company that distributes it to all these other uh, platforms, uh, it started taking off even more. And uh, just uh, not long ago, in the, in the past year, I passed two million streams of my music, uh, just my original piano music that I've uh, written and played, and two million streams have gone out around the world. And that's uh, sort of phenomenal to me because I don't play in public, I don't do concerts, I don't sell merchandise, I don't uh, sell tickets to events or anything, nobody really knows my name. But uh, people have been able to be exposed to my music and uh, hear the music and be blessed by the music. And it, I'm thankful because I've been able to be blessed by the music uh, in as, as well. Then I started helping some other people, I helped my sister get her music on. And uh, currently she is streaming, she's much better than me and she does cover songs of famous songs, uh, whereas I'm writing my own songs that nobody's searching for, but she's got 120, 150 songs out now online, and she has uh, just reached a, a huge audience. She also does not play publicly, she just uh, records and edits her music and puts it online. And so for people like us who uh, are independent, we're not uh, signed with record labels or anything, but we just have uh, some music that we put out and we're getting it to people and uh, it, it's just been phenomenal. <laughs> One day uh, we were reading an article, my sister saw an article in the New York Times or something where people were complaining that Pandora wasn't paying them enough as artists for the music that was streaming on Pandora radio station. And Marilyn and I talked and we said, people are getting paid for having their music stream. We we had our music on all these platforms, but we didn't know uh, that we were supposed to be getting paid even. We So people were complaining they weren't getting enough. And uh, it, it made us look into it, and we realized we had never registered anywhere uh, to say who we were and that we wanted to uh, collect royalties on this. And so we registered, and immediately we started getting checks uh, and just deposits to our bank account uh, for these streams and for all the back streams that they just didn't know where to send the money. <laughs> and uh, we were so shocked. And over the years, it's just grown and grown. And the more uh, songs we've had out there, the more uh, the more royalties that have come in. And it's still every, every month, I'm shocked uh, that any money comes in from this because we just did it as a giving project, really, to put music out to bless others, uh, not even realizing that there were people that would pay to listen to it. And so uh, I don't know if your motive or your goal is uh, to reach others or to make money or uh, whatever it might be, but uh, I just hope that uh, you are able to bless others and they're able to bless you in return. Ephesians 4.12 says that uh, God gives us our gifts so that we can edify the body, we can build up the body of Christ. And so they really are to be a blessing for other people. And a lot of times we sit on our gifts, we don't use them because we uh, are concerned, we're nervous, we don't feel like we maybe measure up. But uh, I want to encourage you to put your music out there. So that's how I got into it, and that's uh, what I do. And I want to give you a little overview. I'm going to share my screen with you and just show you uh, some very detailed uh, statistics and reports, just to give you an idea of uh, what can happen with your music once you put it online. So let me share my screen. So this is a, a report in my, it's called nextbigsound.com. It's a company that uh, handles streaming for uh, Pandora and uh, gives a report of the kinds of numbers that you've had. And up here at the top, you can see that my Pandora lifetime streams have been 2.3 million streams, which is astounding. This is data from the last 28 days. I have a uh, two or three albums out with maybe a dozen songs on each. So this is my total listens on Pandora for the last month. Unique listeners, 3,388 listeners in the last 28 days. And the number of streams, 6,716. So that's over 3,000 people have listened to my music, unique people, 
and they've listened to over 6,000 streams of my songs and my music uh, just in the last 28 days. And again, these numbers may not be impressive to you. They're only impressive to me because had I not put it on, uh, my maybe my kids would be the only people that <laughs> would hear me play these songs. Playlists and discovery for Eric Elder in the last 28 days. This shows where people are finding my music. 3% actually have an Eric Elder radio station. They know me and they've created, They on Pandora you can click and say, make a radio station out of Eric Elder music and music like it. So they can listen to my soothing piano music and they'll hear other people play piano music as well. But this one, the 91%, the largest green section here, these are from other Pandora stations. So for instance, Jim Brickman has a station. If you look down here, he's a famous pianist and he has a 1.3K streams. He's got 1.3 million people listen to his radio station. But since my music plays similar to music to his, they throw my music in the mix. So you listen to Jim Brickman, you listen to Eric Elder, you listen to Lori Lyon, you listen to David Lance, you listen to my sister. And so that's 91% of my listeners come from these other radio stations that play similar music. There's a Pride and Prejudice station. They have beautiful piano music in the movie Pride and Prejudice. There's a relaxation station, has 13 million uh, people signed up for that relaxation station. So that's great that my music somehow got on there. Uh, David Lance is another pianist. Piano Lullaby station. So these are just different Pandora radio stations that people create. And uh, my music pops up. And then Interactive plays this smaller 6% over here, the blue. Uh, that's people that have looked just for my music and they just want to play Eric Elder. So they're not putting me on some radio station of other people too. They just want to listen to my CD. So the number of people that really search for Eric Elder is 3%, and the people who just listen to my CD is 6%. But I'm getting most of my traffic, 91%, from these other radio stations. Uh, here's a map just in the last 28 days. And this shows uh, the larger and darker the, the purple dots are. This is where my listeners have been in the last 28 days. This is in Michigan. Uh, there's a big in Las Vegas, Nevada. I don't know uh, who's streaming a lot of uh, relaxing piano music out there, but they're streaming a lot. Looks like my biggest dot there down in Florida. Uh, Palm Beach, 63 Pandora streams of my music in the last 28 days. So there's all kinds of statistics. Every time someone clicks on my song, uh, it's recorded and I get a report uh, showing that someone has clicked. It doesn't tell me who clicked, but it does break it down by demographics. I have 68% uh, are female and 32% are male listening to my music. My strongest demographic is women ages 55 to 64. And these are my specific songs. Let me go to the last 28 days. Well, I'll do the last 365. This is the, the last year. And here are some of my songs. Clear My Mind is one song. Pride and Prejudice. I, I play a cover song of a song from Pride and Prejudice. I wrote a song for my sister called Marilyn's Theme. And it shows me how many I've had this year to date. 11,000 streams of my music since January 1st to now, March 15th. For all of last year, I had 32,000 streams of my song, Clear My Mind. That's my top song. And over a lifetime, I've had 1.48 million streams of that song. Now, how does this translate into royalties and getting paid? Uh, I'm just giving you everything here. I'm going I'm to tell you what money I make and how it works, uh, and then you can do the math and figure it out for other artists or for yourself. But uh, for me, I don't do this as a money-making venture. I do this just to get my music out and, and bless people and help people. But it's really super that some money comes back. So we get paid... Uh, 0.0017 parts of a dollar. Uh, so I'm going to pull up my calculator here. So if you take 0 0.0017 times the number of streams, that's how much money I would make. So on this first song for the last year, 32,780 streams, I made $55 
and 72 cents on that one song uh, for last year. Now, over a lifetime of that song being out there since 2009, so that would be 12 years now, 0 0.0017 times 1,484901 streams, that's $2,500. So over the last 12 years, I'd made $2,500 on this one song that had I never put it online, I would just be you know, sitting at home and playing for my kids. So uh, I think it's phenomenal that you can make money at all. And again, this is also just for Pandora. Now I have music on Spotify and I have music on YouTube and music on uh, Amazon Music and Apple Music. And each one of those pays a different amount, but a, a certain amount per stream. So it's just a fraction of a penny uh, for everyone. Let me go and I'll show you some of those reports I'm going to go into my CD Baby account here. So there are a dozen or more distributors that can get your music out. If you're signed with a big record label, they'll, of course, get your music out. But if you're an independent artist like me and like many of you probably, you can't just send your music to iTunes, for instance. You can't just send your music to uh, Pandora. You have to put it on one of these distributors and they send it out. So they do a lot of checks to make sure your music is the right uh, recording quality, the right uh, descriptions, the right royalty collection, etc. And so I'm using this company called CD Baby at cdbaby.com. You can create a free account there. So I'm in my CD Baby report, and this is an album that I'm highlighting here in blue called Clear My Mind. And these are my sales, uh, my total sales through CD Baby for that. And here's the song that I was talking about, Clear My Mind. And this is uh, the, just the streaming sales, but it's a very detailed report. It tells me exactly where each thing comes from. I don't know if you can read all this, but here I've spotlighted in the top here, March 9th of 2021, that's right now, uh, and a sale from December of 2020, so a few months ago, on Spotify, the artist Eric Elder, the album Clear My Mind, the song Clear My Mind, and it streamed. And it said, how many? One stream. How much do I get per stream? 0 0.00378172. So 0 0.0038, basically. And how much do I get paid for that? One unit at one stream. I got paid 0 0.00378 uh, uh, of a dollar uh, for that stream. So somebody listened on Spotify on December 8th. Now here's somebody else listened on Spotify. So it, it records every one. They listen to one stream. This came at a different rate, 0 0.006, because it depends on if people search for it, if it comes through a radio station. Depending on where it comes from, you get a different stream uh, revenue. Here's one from the same day, Clear My Mind, and this one pays 0 0.0009. So this is only 0 0.0001, which is a little smaller of a payment. So depending on how people listen, whether they're a paying subscriber or a free subscriber, you get paid a different amount. So it's not quite easy to figure out exactly what you're getting paid, but you get reports like this that show you every single stream and you get a little fraction of a penny for everyone. Here's on Pandora Premium on March 5th, and there's lots of these on March 5th from Pandora. I can just scroll down here. Here's YouTube Music. Again, March 5th, this is from a January report. So this is a stream back in January, and they're paying me 0 0.00095. Maybe I can zoom that up for one stream on YouTube. So my music's on YouTube. If someone listens to Pandora Plus, Pandora Radio, iTunes Europe, iTunes Australia, iTunes America, you can just go through the list. They've got TikTok, uh, uh, our music's on uh, Apple Music, Napster, Napster's still around. What did Napster pay me? Look, one stream, 0 0.008 cents. So there's just a, a, a plethora of information that you can have, uh, more details than you might want to know, but it's really nice to know that every time your friend or your family listens to your stream on Spotify or on YouTube or wherever they listen to, you're going to get blessed back in return. They're going to get blessed by hearing the music. You'll get blessed. Uh, is it going to be millions of dollars? I don't know. It depends on how popular your music is. It depends how you promote it, how you push it. 
Uh, there's a lot of things you can do to try to increase your sales. But uh, for me, without uh, much effort at all, just putting out the music and uh, starting to tell people about it, it's uh, generated a lot of streams uh, and a good amount of revenue. There are other ways to get your music out too. It can be on a CD, on a physical CD, and you can sell these like on your website or you can sell them on Amazon. And uh, we hardly sell any CDs anymore. People just don't buy CDs. Uh, once in a while, someone will ask, do you have a CD? And so we'll sell it on our website. Amazon actually just stopped uh, selling uh, any CDs that we upload to them. So as, a, as an artist, you can upload your music to Amazon. You could have before these last uh, many years. That's how I printed my CDs. I could upload my music and my cover art, and they would actually print. When someone ordered a CD from Eric Elder, they would print it right then, and they'd ship it out to people uh, for you. So I didn't have to order 500 CDs or anything and have them in my closet. Amazon would just print them on demand one at a time. But they just said their CD sales have been so low now, everybody streams, that they've, they're they going to stop in June of this year uh, even printing our CDs for us anymore. So we'll have to find another solution. And there are other places you can go, like CD Baby has a uh, an option where you can print 50 at a time. And it costs probably 3 or 4 or $5 to print per CD. So you could print 50 at, at maybe $3 a piece and have them in your you know, in your house or have them you know, offer them to Amazon to sell for you, but Amazon's not going to print them one at a time anymore. CD Baby actually used to have a CD store on their website, and they just closed that last year. Uh, the company called CD Baby no longer sells CDs <laughs> on their website. So just to let you know, CDs are, you know, if, if you haven't noticed, uh, they're not being used as much, but you can still do that, and some people still like it, and they, uh, I still have people ask, and all my CDs on Amazon right now and my sisters, we knocked them all down to $5 just at cost. We don't make any money on them, but I've just been telling all my friends, hey, if you want a CD before June when they shut it down, just go order it and you can get your copies. Also, if you write original music, uh, you can put your uh, piano music or your, your lyrics or whatever you want online too. And I've, I've done this on Amazon and they're still doing this. They still print books. So this is my Clear My Mind album and I wrote a dozen songs for it. So this is the full... Uh, sheet music, and I upload this to Amazon. I just create it on my laptop, and I just uh, upload my music. This costs two dollars and fifteen cents at my cost. If I just want to order ten of them myself, it's two dollars and fifteen cents plus shipping. But I can sell it. I sell these, I think, for twelve dollars each on Amazon, and I make five dollars in the end. Amazon keeps some, and they give me some, but I don't have to print any of these. I just have the files up there on Amazon. Or if I find a mistake in it, I can just upload a new file. And that's a whole different class, how to get your printed music out there. But I'll talk about it one night. So now I've got uh, three albums up there. I've got the Soothe My Soul, and I've got uh, some original songs in there. And I did a album with my family called My Favorite Classics, where I just took some old classics from the 17 and 1800s. And uh, I had my kids and I played them. I've got six kids, and they all play. So we all played uh, some piano pieces, and I put that all in a book, too since uh, those people don't uh, collect any royalties anymore. So I, I'm able to just collect all the royalties from uh, sales of these books. So I'll get about $5 a piece from every time somebody buys this piano music. And there's all kinds of sheet music places online where you can upload it. This is from uh, J.W. Pepper. You can just download the music and print it out, or you can put it on your iPad. And it's the same book. It's the same files. I just upload it to these different places like Sheet Music Plus or J.W. Pepper. And if people are looking for uh, piano music for weddings or for funerals or for uh, meditations at church or whatever, uh, they are just playing for themselves. Uh, they can just download the sheet music straight from one of these other companies. And so I'll make money on any of that. So there's a lot of ways that you can get your music out. Uh, there's a lot of ways you can print it and offer it. And a final one I'm going to share, and then I'll ask uh, for questions uh, from you. The final one is just uh, just creating a YouTube channel for yourself. In this past year, I uh, really have been pushing my YouTube channel strongly, and I just uh, will get on and I'll just play a song from one of my uh, piano uh, books, and I'll uh, share a message from the Bible, I'll play a song, and I'll pray for people. And that's just a blessing for other people, but also on YouTube, if your music is out there and you've already registered it through CD Baby, they will match and find that that's your song that you already own, and they send you a royalty anytime you play your song. So you could do a cooking show 
and have your music playing in the background and you'll make money <laughs> on your music. So at the end of this, after we take questions, I'd love to play a song from my uh, Clear My Mind album, one of the first songs on it, and I'll just go down to the piano, I'll play it for you, and uh, I'd like just for you to hear it, but also if people watch this music group later and they get to the part where it plays that song, I'll make point zero zero one seven whenever they listen to it. <laughs> and so why not include your music in everything you do? Uh, so I think there's a lot of ways to get your music out. There's a lot of ways to bless other people and a lot of ways to be blessed in return. And I hope that's given you a good introduction. We're going to talk uh, through the next uh, nine sessions about uh, lots of topics related to all this. This is just sort of what your appetite for it. We'll talk about how to record your music, you, uh, you know, what kind of mics you can use and how to use GarageBand and do editing to do uh, or whatever platform you're on, where to upload your music. There are other places like DistroKid or CD Baby, and they'll distribute it out to all these places. We'll talk about licensing and cover songs, um, how to copyright your own music, how to get paid. We'll talk about creating artwork, and I'll show you uh, ways to use Canva or other things just to create a little square graphic for your album. We'll talk about getting your sheet music online. If you write your own music, I'll help you just uh, show you how to do that and get and tell you a few places you can do that. Uh, I'm hoping to do a songwriting session where uh, myself and some others can share just some songwriting tips just to help uh, help us all get better with our songwriting. Um, we'll talk about creating playlists because anytime you can get your music on a playlist, it's a, a better chance launching mu your music and, and creating a YouTube channel. So these are the different topics we'll be talking about. I'd also love to hear topics that you're interested in. Uh, this group is really just uh, for you, just to help you get your music out there, take it from start to finish, and by the end of the year, maybe you can release an album, and that would be really uh, terrific, I hope, for you, and it would be great for me, and I just feel like uh, uh, this has all been worth it if I can encourage and inspire you and just show you you really can do this. Anybody have questions, you can ask them uh, on the side, or you can ask them here, just unmute yourself. I'm curious what you're interested in, where you are right now in your own process, if you're just getting started, or if you've been doing this and you're trying to see how to increase your number of listeners or just anything that you might have. Hey, Eric, this is Nikki. Thanks for doing this. I have a question regarding, um, you know, when you're doing the, the, the actual like copywriting with the, with the streaming and stuff like that, mm -hmm. that's still going through the U S copyright office, correct? Yeah. There's nothing like, else magical about that. If yeah, you're okay. writing your own song, you can register at, at copyright.gov. Yeah. Okay. And I don't remember how much it is. Maybe you know, twenty five, fifty dollars. I think it's. I think it's like if if you do, here's here's a here's a, a secret. If you do an album and you put all your songs on the album, it's thirty five dollars for the album. If, if you do each individual song, it's thirty five dollars each individual song. Much better to do the album. It's the yeah. same on CD Baby. If you put a whole album out, it's. A certain amount of money but if you you can also release singles if you want on cd baby uh -huh. but it's not as cost effective it's better to do a whole album so that's good to hear it's same same price either way at the <laughs> copyright office what do you use for your sheet music what uh software uh, i use finale on my Mac finale account. okay yeah yeah it's pretty i like so finale sibelius uh there's some free free ones that okay. yeah but they're just depends what features you want, but finale is nice. Years, I'm doing a um, Christian musical. I've really? got like the 26 songs. I wow. just got the songs written. Um, yeah. So I'm oh, like, wow. okay, well, you're doing this now. How are you going to get it out there? How are you going to get people to listen to it? You know? Super. That's a tremendous thing. And you finished it all? I've, I'm working on the book right now. I'm actually okay. doing the script also. So, yeah. um, but all the songs are written. Wow. I'm debating, do I orchestrate it myself? Do I hire somebody? Um, mm. You know, what to do at that point. But I'm like, God is telling me, just finish what you're doing. <laughs> Don't get ahead of the curve. Just finish it. That is a heroic, heroic effort. Wow. The well, brain. it's been years. I... I uh, had an experience in 2013 with Jesus. And mm -hmm. since then, he has been just like throwing songs at me left and right. So mm -hmm. I'm kind of like, wow, okay. Yeah, this is what he wants me to do. 
I will fully encourage you in that, Nikki, because I, I think the marrying of the arts is is a beautiful thing, and to it's one thing to do your music, but to set it in a a, a dramatic setting, you know, lights and action and actors and singers, uh-huh. and, you know, just to do the whole storytelling with it too, and having all your songs in one place. I think that's also going to be a greater blessing for you because you'll have a you know multiple audiences, not just uh, listeners on Spotify, but you'll have viewers on YouTube. You'll have uh, lots of other things. Wow. Uh, I didn't share this, but I've just finished writing a musical too. And so I don't know. <laughs> that's why I feel really strongly about it, but it's called uh-huh. His Name Was Nicholas. It's about the real St. Nicholas that lived back in the third and fourth century. Very cool. And so this has been a 25 year project too. So uh-huh. I get that. But last year I finished it during COVID and it's got the full script and it's got at the back 25 songs, uh, just what you were talking about, which is astounding. And I used finale to, to score them. Okay. And I played a piano track of, the, of all of them and uh-huh. you can watch it online. You can, you can watch me reading through the script and playing the piano track. And then I had a, the worship leader at my church is really great at orchestrating. And I asked him if he would orchestrate one or two songs. There was a ballet company down in South Carolina that had read the story. I wrote a book with my wife about St. Nicholas and uh, that sort mm-hmm. of was the basis of what became the musical. And this uh, dance troupe in uh, South Carolina wanted to do a full length ballet of the book. And so huh. I said, oh, I'm actually working on a musical. I was still working on it at the time. And I said, I could, you know, we could orchestrate a few songs for you for the ballet. And so we did. Right. And uh, Matt uh, took my piano, rough piano, and me singing them uh-huh. into a recorder. <laughs> and he turned them into these beautiful, orchestra, fully orchestrated uh, songs and uh, had some friends at church that sang the parts. And so we just did some demos. So I, I've got... Uh, six songs that we've done fully orchestrated. Uh, you uh-huh. can find them on YouTube too. That's called uh, His Name Was Nicholas. His Name Was Nicholas. I'm going to check yeah. that out. I like the idea even of, you know, having someone do a few demo songs for you, uh-huh. just orchestrate them as a sample. But okay. you've so done, the, I just need you've to done the heroic it. task of just getting it done. And if you can somehow get it in sheet music or get it, you know, just perform it, record it on your phone or something. And just so... If people ask, you can say, "Yeah, here's here's the sample of what I, what I envision it to be." Okay. Uh, and then maybe have a few songs orchestrated. Uh, and uh, I actually know another guy in uh, in Orange County, California. That's uh, he's he loves doing this and helping people with this too. And uh-huh. he would charge a fee, but he's yeah. You know, if you ha- if you come up short with people, uh, I could probably point you to some people and. That might be able to help you get a get some demo tracks out anyway. This ballet company used uh, two or three of our songs in the ballet. Okay. You can watch it at onelifeballet.com. The ballet One... is called One Life, okay. and it's onelifeballet.com, and it's about an hour and 15-minute ballet, and you can uh, just watch it. But the opening song is mine, and another song in the middle called There's Always Something You Can Give. Uh, okay. And so uh, you can hear those and see people, you know, to see people dance them on stage and live it out i just i was so shocked because i'm like i wrote that song I, that's that's amazing and it's uh it's, it's just such a such a fulfilling uh-huh. feeling but again if i had not put it out there nobody would have known if i didn't put my book out there you know this ballet company wouldn't have found it and so i'm just a big believer in getting your stuff out and then see what god can do with it well this has been a blessing for me so, thank you very much eric Super. I'm glad if you guys uh, want to stick around, I'll play one song on the piano for you. And yeah, please, please do. I'll play a song for you. This is from my Clear My Mind album. Uh, it's the first song called Moment by Moment. And it's just that God can uh, take us through moment by moment. He doesn't always give us everything right away. And he says in uh, Exodus that I can't give you the whole land to the Israelites because uh, if I gave it to you now, it would overwhelm you. There would be too much. The wild animals would overwhelm you and overtake you. I'm going to wait until you increase enough in population and numbers so you can take out, take over the whole land. But little by little, I'll give it to you. So I wrote this in 1997, actually. And uh, here 20 some years later, uh, I'm, it's still streaming on Pandora and I still have people listening to it while they sleep. So that's very <laughs> This is called Moment by Moment. I don't have, I don't sing to it, but I have lyrics that I've just written down, but I've never actually uh, put the lyrics in the book. It's just piano music. Thank you. 
that that was beautiful that mm. was very lovely thanks i like it and it's fun and again i, I don't play uh, publicly very much at all and i actually get really nervous and my hands shake and i can't remember where i am and i uh, I've, I've had numerous occasions where i just can't finish a song if i play in public so it's really nice to be able to record things online and put it out because i can do multiple takes and edit and uh, fix it so it's it's nice for people like me who have a little of a stage. stage. Oh yeah, and I yes, yeah. I I I feel your pain. Yeah. I feel your pain. Thanks. Let me say a prayer. Thanks, Lord, for this time with uh, these new friends and uh, believers. And God, I pray that you would use their music in great ways, Lord. And I pray, God, if uh, if you have a uh, something special that you want to do with their songs, whether it's the lyrics or the music or just the whole package or whatever it is, God, I pray that you would just speak to them about how they can go forward with it, how they can take the next step. Uh, I pray you'd provide people to help them to put their songs together in a way that would really help uh, get them out to the world and be a blessing to the world, God. And God, I pray that you would also help them connect with an audience, people that like their style of music, want to hear their style of music, and really need to hear it. And Lord, just like the people who've said they've even slept through my music and it's helped them to sleep and given them peace, God, it might not be for everyone, but it's definitely for some. And I just pray, God, that you would use the people who are here tonight or people watching it on video later, that you would use their music and you would help connect them with people who need to hear uh, just the way you've gifted them so both of them can be blessed, Lord, both the listener 
and the Creator. And God, somehow we would all grow together uh, and in the strength and the body of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you all for coming. And uh, we'll join you again hopefully next month.